Last year, one of the teachers working on the project that I ran for DECT in South Australia turned up with an A3, she called it a floor book, and what it was was a record, a journal, of the maths that her class had been doing. And she said she went away after the first lesson that she did with me and decided that for every lesson that she did, she was going to have a double page spread in her floor book. Her motivation for this initially came from the fact that she had parents who were asking, where's the, where's the children's maths? Why isn't there work in their maths book today? And she wanted to be able to show the parents that they were doing maths every day. Um, the effect, the book, was magical. I think everybody in the room just wanted to steal it. And what I've done here is I've tried to create something that resembles her maths journal. And I've stuck here a problem from the new place value book that I'm working on. And the problem's about 20 tadpoles and they all go swimming in different groupings. Now, I've made this up, obviously, but this says, John thinks the tadpoles swam in twos and here's the picture, ready for speed counting in twos. This says, Anne thinks the tadpoles swam in fives and we can see the subitizable groups of fives. Up here we've got another one and it says, Carrie thinks that tadpoles swam in rainbow pairs. So we've got the six and the four, six and four makes ten, mm -hmm. ten and ten is twenty. Underneath here, underlined in the red, are the names of three other children. And it says, um, Storm likes counting in twos because it's easy. Lexi likes counting in fives because it's fast. Max likes the rainbow facts and ten plus ten is really fast. Underneath here I've written some reflections, so if I was the teacher I might have written, I could repeat this lesson with a different number and different creatures to see what further connections the students would make. Um, and then I've put, we could make these into a class book. Now this is, it took me five or ten minutes, it's not meant to be beautiful. Ideally these would be um, cutouts of students' work. The idea though being that a parent interviews when a parent comes and sits down um, you can walk them through the book. You can show them all of the maths lessons in the sequence in which they happened. Um, the teacher concerned, who showed us her book, said the parents were really impressed with this. She also said she uses it as a tool for metacognition at the beginning of a lesson. So she'll hold the book up and she'll say to the students, what did we do yesterday? Which strategy did you like? Which strategy would you like to try today? And there it is as an aid memoir. She also says that her students love to borrow the book for silent reading and she often finds them going through and reflecting on the problems that they've been doing. So really quite a powerful tool and doesn't take long to make. Um, I've committed to making my page every time I run maths lessons in 2014 and you can see I've started now just to show you what a powerful tool for learning mathematics, regardless of the age of the students, something like this could be.